What's going on guys, you're in with Hardy Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how I edit my videos as the, I think, $100 community reward that you guys managed to raise. I might be wrong on that total, but that seems right in my head. Anyways, so the programs I'm going to be using today is Camto Camtasia Studio 8, which I will link a tutorial on how to get this, and Photoshop, it doesn't really matter, I think I have either CS4 or CS5. And I will also have a link in the description on how to get this. So you should have both these programs. This is my leaf green or my light platinum layout. I assume you'll be using some kind of layout, either one you've got from me in the past or one you made on your own. Either way, just open it up with Photoshop. And what I do first when I go to Camtasia is I go to my I go get my intro. You gotta make sure that's at the beginning of where you might hear some problems. And you just drag it in here to the uh, in the track one, this little box will pop up. If it doesn't, then um, and quick 1280 by 720. If it doesn't pop up, then just click this little thing up here, and you could change the dimensions of it, and you want it to be 1280 by 720. So I drag that to the beginning, and for me personally, my intro is a little loud, so I usually drag it down to about 70, somewhere around 70%. So next, what I want to do is get my recording, which I have right here, and I will drag these in. Now what I like to do with my intro is I purposely made it like 15 seconds so that I can have the intro fade into whatever I'm doing. Unfortunately I can't just have my layout fade into it because there's like a big gap in the center where the video is going to be so um, what you will see me do is let me find a folder. I do already have some of these images saved that I made beforehand but I'm going to be showing you guys how to do all this don't worry. Um, I will take in the, the version of the border that I'm going to be starting with which um, and I also have this little black box. So what I do is I put the black box down and then I will put the intro down. So, or the layout down. So now when it pops up, there will be a black box there and you won't just like see the intro behind it. So I usually just put a fade on that and I like to have it start fading in a little after 10 seconds into the intro and then usually about 13 to 14 seconds of the actual commentary start. So I put a fade on both of those and then now you'll see it. Well you can't really see it because it lags a lot when I try to watch it back, but basically it just it fades into the layout is what it does. So what I need is though I need two tracks in between the black box and this. So I'm gonna drag this up two spaces so there's now two empty spaces here. And now I can bring in my video and put it into this area, which just drag over here and then drag the audio as well. Now, I'm gonna try to give you guys some tips while I'm doing this on like how to make your videos better, just like little pet peeves about things that I like. Um, drag both of these, about the 13 minute mark is when I want this to start fading in. But you notice it doesn't exactly fit here, so what you have to do is, if these little lines don't appear on your video, just click this little hand sign, and they should appear. So, I'm going to stretch this out. Um, to zoom in, I use the mouse wheel to zoom in on my mouse, but you could also use this little area right here to choose how you want it to be zoomed in. I just find it so much easier to do it with the mouse wheel because it's like right there next to my hand and it just makes life easy. And sometimes though, it'll always zoom in on the center and if you need to go off to the side, that's you can just click this and then you can move the screen around easily. So that's a very nice tip. So let's get this in there perfectly. Uh, now to go to the bottom and pull this down. Okay, so I think that is perfect. Yeah, and I'm going to put a glow transition on this because I've decided to go with like a glow transition for when the video begins. For this nose lock around, I just I think it looks cool. So now what I do is I know some people like watch their videos all the way through to do the editing. That's not how I do mine. How I do my editing is. Usually I'll remember in my mind when something like needs to change. Like for example here, I'm about to be catching a sand dial. For um if you're curious, this is episode two of White Platinum. So uh I can see right here, I just like scroll through the video. If you don't remember what's going on, all you have to do is like scroll through the video and see if anything changes and things should come back to you if you like edit right after you record. So I'm gonna go right here, it says sand dial is caught. So what I wanna do is figure out first why like three quarters of the Pokemon are invisible because that would be good to know. Let's remake those visible really quick. And so what I want to do is go to my folder for all my artwork. 
There will also be a link if you're inter interested in the Pokemon artwork I will be using. There's a link to that as well. We just got a freaking ton of links in the description. So, And I want to get a Sand Dial, which that will open up. This is going a lot slower than it normally does because I'm recording and my camera is... Or my computer is absolute garbage. So this Sand Dial is going to be going in box 5 down here. So I will want to open that up. For the most part, you should know how to like edit your own lay layouts, but I figure if I don't like explain what's going on here, then someone will just get like extremely confused as to what I'm doing. But uh, and you know, there's certain little tips. So I want to take. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to take the sand dial over to this box. If you're interested, how to make this like little thing appear around him? That is just Control T, uh, right click and flip horizontal. I figured I'd have all the web Pokemon I need. Where did he go? Uh, Sandile? Where are you? Sandile? Wanna maybe get back over here? There you go. Okay, good job. <laughs> I don't know where he went. That's like never happened before. But uh, if you want to get the little lines to appear around it, click Control T. And I always recommend this when you're decreasing the size, go to the corner, hold Shift, and then drag in. And it will go extremely slow if you're recording, but if it's not, it should go decent. And then afterwards, click Control and Enter to get rid of the lines. And now we have our Sando, which, um, do I want to make him smaller? I don't know, that looks, that looks a little big. I want to, I want more of his body in there. So, let's just make it a tiny bit smaller. And this is all just, you know, personal preference of what I'm doing right here. If you like however you make it look. So, you can see on the other four here, they all have like an outer glow effect. So, Let's go to one of the Pokemon that has it, and I'll copy that layer style. I'm not teaching you guys how to make a layout here, so you should like have some kind of decent skills on Photoshop. Like, uh, it's very easy to put an outer glow on something. I'm just teaching you guys how to do the actual editing aspect. So, and then what I do is I use the elliptical marquee tool to highlight the areas outside the box, and then I just click delete, and they're gone. So once those are gone, I just do save for web and devices or the hotkey for that is control alt shift and s all three of those and I replace the one of these I have already so and I just what I do for mine I just like number them I think that's like a really easy way to save them and keep them all in order so I will bring in number two now and I want this I drag this to where it ends which would be right here and put in number two so it starts right where number one version of the border left off and I am doing a random dissolve transition. You could use like any transition you want. I like the way random dissolve works or looks, so I've been going with that one so far in this Nuzlocke run. And then the sand dial is caught. Then I just keep up with what I'm doing. I drag through the video and whenever I see a change I do that exact same thing. So um, that is how I edit my videos. If if you want to render your videos, what I do is... Oh! Quick tip. Um, actually, no, I'm not, I'm not done editing yet. I'm sorry. Uh, audio, 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 audio. I see so many videos where people don't adjust their audio and it's like impossible to hear them. All you have to do is, this one down here is my game sound, this one up here is my microphone. And you guys can't hear the game sound right now, so I apologize, but, or the, um, my system sounds. But make sure that your voice is a lot louder than the game sound and you can actually hear it. It's very easy to adjust. My computer already records my game sound really quiet, so normally it's, um, actually just perfect like it is. If anything, I just kind of... I actually turned the game sound up just a tiny bit, and then I might put up my own commentary just a tiny bit. Not, let me listen to that. Yeah, that that sounds good. You just got to make sure the game sound is there, but it's like quietly in the background. So, and finally, click on your video, click on cursor effects, and click move re, mouse cursor visible. Get rid of that. No one wants to see your mouse. It's not important. Just no, no mouse, and that's it. So for the rest of the editing, all I will do is. Whenever I see a change, I will go back into Photoshop, I will make that change, I will save it, and then I will add it in here using that, uh, whatever transition I feel like doing. And at the end of the video, um, I will just put a fade on everything to end the video. So that is how I edit my videos. When I want to finish, I go to Produce and Share. I change this to MP4 only up to 720p click next, name it whatever I want, and then you click finish, and then it'll render. This actually renders in really small file sizes for the most part, like a 25 minute video is about 130 megabytes. So it's very, very nice, it's very, very easy, and that's how you edit your videos. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, feel free to tell me down in the comments that you appreciated it. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tagoyo.
Peace.